Welcome everyone. This is the construction briefing meeting for the Westwood 66 inch sanitary sewer rehabilitation with a 60 inch slip line, including the Bob Finley Linear Park Trail Improvements Project. Um, just a quick housekeeping note before I go ahead and begin and get into the project details. Um, if you would, please hold on to your questions until the very end of the presentation, just in case some of them get addressed during the actual presentation. All right, with that, we'll go ahead and get started. So just to kind of quickly run through our meeting agenda, um, our presentation is only about 10 minutes, so hopefully I can get everyone uh, their questions answered and get everybody back to enjoying their Tuesday evening. But um, I will start by introducing the project personnel. Then I'll talk about the project background and overview and kind of why this project is necessary. Then I'll review what to uh, what everyone should expect during construction and then answer frequently asked questions and answer questions that have been submitted specifically for this project. So before we get we begin, since we, um, you know, of course, don't have our typical in person project meeting. Um, if everyone would please sign in by sending an email with your name, address, phone number, and email address to my email there, which is emily.hannon at arlingtontx.gov. Um, I'll give everyone a few seconds before I jump into the project details um, for you to take down my contact information and sign in for this meeting. So introducing our project representatives, um, we have Andrew, uh, Councilman Andrew Peel, who's our City Council District 4 representative. Unfortunately, uh, Councilman Peel was not able to join us uh, for this evening's meeting um, due to a miscommunication about our project meeting getting rescheduled. Um, but we also have Raymond Alvarez, who is our project inspector for the city with the City of Arlington Public Works and Transportation Department. Um, we have myself. My name is Emily Hannon. I'm the project manager for the City of Arlington Water Utilities Department. Um, we also have Metali Mondokar, who is the project manager for the City of Arlington Parks and Recreation Department. And we have S.G. Lewis Construction of Texas, who is our construction contractor. So as far as the actual construction area, um, our construction area is actually going to be behind Westwood Drive, behind the neighborhood, between Westwood and Village Creek. So as you can see in this map, this red outline is kind of our construction area with the south end there kind of being our staging um, and our entrance where the contractor will be accessing the project off of Westwood Drive. So just some project background and why this project is necessary. So actually in 2015, the existing 66 inch sanitary sewer main collapsed and required an emergency repair. And you can see a photo from that emergency repair on the left uh, side of this slide here, um, just downstream of that concrete metering structure. Uh, and that concrete structure is actually visible from Westwood Drive. And I'm sure if you live in the area, you're quite familiar with this, with this structure. But, Anyway, after the city con conducted um, an inspection, uh, they con we confirmed that about 1,100 linear feet of the pipe was structurally deficient due to corrosion and need of replacement. So that brings, up, brings us into our project scope. Um, so what we're going to do with this project is we're going to rehabilitate 1,100 linear feet of the existing 66 inch pipe by inserting new 60 inch pipe uh, with a method called slip lining. Uh, we're also going to um, demolish and remove that abandoned metering station, uh, which I showed you in the previous slide. And then after the sanitary sewer improvements are complete, um, Bob Finley Linear Park Trail will be widened from 8 feet to 12 feet, which completes the Bob Finley Linear Park Trail improvements that Parks and Recreation started a few years ago. So just some quick project facts. Um, as I mentioned previously, our contractor is SJ Lewis Construction of Texas. Our cost is $1,957,019, so about $2 million. And then we actually started last week. So if you live adjacent to the project area, you've probably already seen our contractor uh, mobilizing out on site. And lastly, our estimated completion date is August of 2021. So what to expect during construction? Uh, you will have access to your home and driveway. Um, so if a driveway closure is needed, we will coordinate with you in advance. Um, and like I showed on the project location map, we're actually going to be behind the neighborhood, so I don't anticipate that any driveway closures are going to be necessary. But just in case, um, our contractor will notify you in advance. Periodic road closures will occur, but detours will be provided by our contractor. 
Um, your essential services will continue, including trash, recycling, and mail. Um, water and sanitary sewer service will continue without disruptions. The contractor will have a sanitary facility, so a porta potty available for their workers, which will be kept in the right of way. And then two uh, project specific items um, are that the contractor will need to bypass pump the wastewater 24 hours a day, seven days a week for about 50 days in order to perform the work. Um, so residents can expect to see and hear the pumps during this time. And those are going to be staged kind of in that open area towards the south end of the project area that I showed on the project location map. Um, and most importantly, the Bob Finley Linear Park Trail will be closed to the public during construction for public safety. Um, there will be trail close signs notifying the public of that closure. And I believe um, our communications coordinator have already been, our coordinators have already been hard at work uh, notifying the public that that trail will be closed. More on the trail closure. Um, because of the project location, there's really no other connection to the neighborhood. So the trail, the trail is actually going to be closed from the intersection um, at Westwood and Finley all the way up north to the connection at Meadowbrook. And um, like I said, the reason for that is because there is no other connection to the neighborhood. So we don't want um, anybody to be inconvenienced by having to go all the way down and turn around when they realize that the trail is closed. So that will be the section that is um, of the trail that will be closed during construction. Uh, so just to address some frequently asked questions that we typically get on all of our projects, um, so our first question is, how long will the water be shut off? Um, so again, no disruptions to water service are anticipated. Um, another question is, will there be any disruption to sewer service? Again, no disruptions to sewer service are anticipated either. Uh, will the contractor restore the grass affected by construction? Yes, grass, uh, grass areas affected by construction will be restored to match these existing conditions. And the contractor will also be installing a temporary irrigation system to establish the new sod in the project area. So when will the contractor be working? So city ordinances allow the contractors to work from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. during daylight savings time and 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. during standard time. Work is typically Monday through Friday, but work on Saturday is allowed with city approval. Uh, work is not permitted on Sundays or city holidays. And lastly, who do I contact if I have a question or concern during construction? You should contact the city inspector if you have a concern. Um, the city's project inspector will be on site each day to make sure the project is being constructed within our specifications. And to answer some questions that have been submitted by our residents, we received three. So the first one is, uh, how will traffic be impacted during the interlocking lights before and around the holidays? Um, so during work hours, there will be construction traffic on Westwood Drive. Uh, detours will be provided, but after work hours, we do not anticipate there to be construction traffic. And therefore, we don't anticipate that we will conflict with the interlocking lights. Our contractor is also very aware um, that this is an event yearly in the area, so we will plan accordingly. Uh, will there be a detour around the work area for bikers who start at the Linear Park and go all the way to River Legacy? No, there will not be a detour. Um, and I would refer to the trail closure map uh, again on this question. Um, so if you plan on or if your normal route is through this project area, um, I would ask or we would ask that you need to begin your journey north of the project site if you're on your way to River Legacy, because again, this project area will not be accessible. Um, it's a public safety concern um, and is an active construction site, so it will be closed. And the last concern that we received um, is that sometimes it smells bad in the area. Um, so how will the spill be improved? So um, the source of odor is the concrete metering station, which um, was just upstream of the failure that I showed you in that photo. Um, and that will be removed with the project. Uh, but in the meantime, so until it is removed, um, the odor control canister that is currently existing will be replaced and we anticipate that to be complete by the end of next week. And that concludes all the questions that we um, got submitted uh, by or were submitted by residents before our presentation. But if anyone has any additional questions that um, were not answered uh, during the presentation, uh, please submit them um, in the chat function of the Microsoft Teams application. Um, I will answer questions that are relevant to the project and helpful to the wider audience. Um, but if you have questions um, about your individual property concerns, um, please feel free to send me an email, um, which again is emily.hannon at arlingtontx.gov. Um, and if you can't find uh, the Q&A function on the application, um, it kind of looks like a little box with a question mark in there. 
So I will go ahead and see if we received any questions during our presentation. So one question we received is when will the remo removal of the structure take place? And to that, I would defer to um, Pete if you're on the call. Pete is our representative with SJ Lewis Construction um, to help me kind of answer that question where that is in the construction schedule. Uh, uh, good evening, this, this is Pete Stall. Um, um, sometime between the next 30 to 40, 40 days, days, that structure will be removed. All right, so for anybody that um, didn't catch the answer to that question, so the, the question was, will the removal of the structure take place? Um, and the answer was sometime within the next 30 to 40 days uh, while the bypass pumping is happening. So another question that we received is, uh, will the foul smell improve when the structure is removed? The answer to that is yes. Um, so since that structure currently is open to atmosphere and we're removing it, um, we should really not have any odor issues after. Um, we will have two new manholes in the area, which will have odor control canisters on them to help with the odor as well. Um, but we totally recognize that that structure, um, you know, was a huge cause of the odor in the area. So we do anticipate it improving, if not to being totally eliminated after the project is complete. Another question we received is, uh, will the PowerPoint be available for us to go over? Um, yes, at, after the presentation, it will get posted uh, to the city's website. Um, so everyone will have access to not only the presentation, but also the recording of uh, the public meeting. Another question we received is, uh, will the manholes be permanent additions? Yes, uh, those manholes will be permanently placed. They are going to replace um, that old concrete structure. So they will be in the ground, but they're not going to be an above ground structure like that um, the existing metering station is now. So the last question we received is, uh, so you anticipate that the manholes will not generate as much smell as the structure, right? So yes, that is correct. So the manhole, the manholes will have odor control canisters on it, so they're not going to be, um, like I said, open to the the atmosphere like that existing concrete structure is. Um, so we correct. We do not anticipate the smell, um, or we anticipate the smell getting better after the project is complete. So another question that we received is, uh, will the construction generate any additional smell after the structure is removed? Um, so that I would answer, or I would deflect that that question to to Pete, if Pete wants to help me answer that. No, it will not. Uh, that structure is going to be cleaned and then removed, so there won't be any smell. Whatever whatever is inside that structure will be washed downstream inside the pipe with normal the normal system. All right, just to repeat kind of what Pete answered to that question. So the question was, will the construction generate any additional smell after the structure is removed? Um, and the answer is no. Um, that structure is going to be cleaned uh, and removed, and any uh, anything that is causing the smell inside of that structure is going to be washed downstream into the existing system. Okay, I see two more questions that have rolled in. Sorry, everyone. Um, so to answer the question, so one of the questions we received was um, if the construction process will actually generate smell during the course of the next nine months. So to the an the answer to that, and Pete, maybe you want to help me, but um, no, so the construction process itself, since we are going to be bypass pumping, um, we're really not going to be pumping any of the wastewater through the existing structure and that structure is the cause of the odor because there's a drop in there and it creates turbulence in the flow. So since we're going to be going around that, um, the big suction piping uh, is really going to kind of suck in all the wastewater and all the odor with it. Um, Pete, I don't know if there's anything that you'd like to add to that. Um, but no, that we don't anticipate that the construction process is going to make the smell worse. OK, now I have not seen any new questions roll in, but if you have any additional questions, um, please feel free to send me an email or call my phone over here that's on the end of the slide. Thank you all for attending and have a great evening.